Gamers. Have you ever wanted to be a fire-breathing dragon in Guild Wars 2? Well, good news. Now's your chance. In the expansion, Secrets of the Obscure, this is you. Look at this hapless buffoon. This pathetic, land-bound chack. About to be eviscerated by the sky scale. Firing a fireball directly at it. Well, good news. That's what's dropping. The sky scale is getting upgraded. And you know what? There is zero compensation. All players get the sky scale for free in the expansion. And everyone who put in the hard work to unlock it gets absolutely nothing. In fact, the game actively mocks you for saying, Ha! You silly sausage. You actually thought that you'd get something for doing that? Oh, wait, no, no. That's actually just what people who didn't read the poster or are not keeping up whatsoever think. Yeah, you actually do get compensated. So basically, we've got the Sky Scale. You're actually going to have it unlocked very early. If you actually even make it to the first new map by following the story, you get access by this yeah, to the Sky Scale instantaneously. Very exciting. Then, of course, you get a brand new... A brand new setup of extra masteries to progress there. But yeah, a little bit of a collection, okay? Flight training master. After training the first tier of the line, you unlock a new sky scale collection. A streamlined success of the original. Our primary goal is to simplify some of the steps while maintaining much of the collection's theming and story. So basically, it's going to be very, very easy. It won't have any annoying time gating, probably. And it hopefully won't involve 21 eggs, right? Um, if, if I, <laughs> Maybe they'll keep that part. They'll just keep the 21 part for that. You know, the 21 eggs, they'll leave that one in. But anyway... Here's the actual important stuff here, the extra stuff that you get. You get some pretty nice bonuses. Uh, so when you mount in the air, you'll get Bond of Vigor. So you get extra endurance and you it kind of refills the fuel of the Sky Scale. And you also leap into the air faster and go further with the wall, which is actually pretty good, actually. Like, giving you more climbing potential, I imagine, is going to be very, very useful indeed. And this is not exactly new information. We kind of already know this. And the real key thing here, and this is something that they actually seem to be focusing on a little bit more. This is actually... I have to say I'm a little bit worried about this. They seem to be focusing on the combat mount aspects of the Sky Scale in the same way they did with the Turtle. And we'll see why a little bit later. You now have this fireball uh, attack... You can mount while you're in combat. This also applies to the Griffin, I believe, as well, as it's another flying mount. But yeah, they're, they're really leaning into this uh, a little bit here. So you might be on your sky scale more actually using it to attack. And the reason that I am saying that is because of this little statement here. We're excited for you to get your hands on the sky scale's new fireball skill. It flows well with their other tricks and it opens up some neat combat options. The new fireball skill allows you to precisely aim where the projectile will land using your cursor. It's, you know, like like any other skill in the game, right? Like, they, like that's the selling point. You can aim. Like, <laughs> similar to the Siege Turtle passenger's ability to fire projectiles at enemies, this new fireball skill will not cause a dismount. So you can soar through the skies and take down threats from above, whether they're on the ground or in the air. The crypt is of aerial threats of their own that require your sky scale skills to take care of. And you're able to practice the skills via adventures throughout Guild Wars 2, Secrets of the Obscure, to ensure you're prepared for any threat the crypt is bringing to you. One of the explorable zones includes the new sky scale target practice adventure that will have you racing around and spinning fireballs left and right. So, the, the reason I'm a little bit worried about this, okay? Um, this does scare me a little bit, gamers. Because the last time they made a mount combat themed map, yeah, that was Gaiala Delves. I really hope this is more of a minigame style thing or basically a bit of fluff rather than something they actually try to integrate into meta events, right? And actually into the combat stuff because this was a disaster the last time they did it. It was by far the worst map in the game, in the history of the entire game uh, with Gaiala Delves. So with any luck, they haven't done that, but I actually kind of suspect that they have um, because they, they, they seem to be leaning into this kind of combat mount feature a fair bit uh, and kind of emphasizing like, oh yes, you're gonna, there are enemies in the air. You have to fire your fireballs and like, I don't know, doesn't sound that good to me. That doesn't sound that hot, to be honest. I think having 
combat mounts kind of be like a, a thing that you can do. I think that's actually pretty cool. Stuff like the Siege Turtle, you can carry a friend around and like blast away. I think that's really good. But forcing combat mount stuff, I think is really, really unfun. And we saw that with Gaiala. When you have to use the turtle to get through these gates, you have to use it to break through these shields. You have to use it to do this. I think that is where it becomes really obnoxious and to be honest, very unenjoyable for players. Um, I think the Guild Wars 2 combat system really shines in these open world meta events. So kind of forcing the player to be taken out of that and just press one by firing a fireball i don't really like that whatsoever and i'm pretty sure like i, I don't think players like that as well it's definitely cool to fly a dragon and fire a fireball but yeah not ideal and look if you complete the collection and then another collection after that will open up and you get this cryptus themed sky scale skin now I don't, I do not like how this looks, okay? I don't know. I mean, maybe some people are going to like this, this horrific monstrosity, but I don't like it. It looks kind of, it looks kind of nasty to me. Although I guess that is, I, I suppose that is rather the point of the, the cryptus overall. You get your demon sky scale. But I have got to say, you know what? I am always going to be consistent on this. Respect to Anet for not putting it in the cash shop. I think that this expansion, Secrets of the Obscure, is definitely taking some steps here with a Griffin skin in the Wizard's Vault and also this Skyscale collection skin um, that is actually going to be presumably just doing some open worlds up there as well. I think that is absolutely worthy of praise. I love to see it. Very well done to ArenaNet. Despite my not, you know, not particularly high enjoyment of the aesthetic here, of the skin, I'll still take it, right? I'll still take it. But we'll see how it all <laughs> how it all turns out on August 22nd with Secrets of the Obscure launching, guys. Guild Wars 2 expansion. Let's go. Skyscale. Unlock your Skyscale collection now. Do it. Get in there. But anyway, that's it for this little uh, little news video. Just you know, a few updates. Nothing uh, crazy new here. It's actually kind of cool. You can see the new map here I think they're showing off, I presume. Um, looking like that. Looking a bit like Edge of the Mist, actually, which is quite exciting, as you can see here. Uh, Edge of the Mist style zone. Maybe they just copy-pasted it. That would actually be kind of funny if they did that, but they obviously won't do that, okay? Look, it, I, I can't help it. I can't help but joke around to, like, all of the, the reused assets uh, salt that's going on right now. I, you know, I, I can't do it. I can't not do it, actually, rather. But anyway, there you go. Destroy the Chak with a fireball. That is uh, that is what awaits you. And I guess this is another little screenshot of the new map as well. Very exciting stuff. You've got a house there. You've also got the Chak Hive. Looks like we are going to be seeing a lot of returning enemies. I imagine they're going to be leading into this kind of mixed up, crazy world, right? And and that's how they're going to get some kind of value out of some asset reuse, I think. All, you know, all jokes aside. And there you go. That's it. The Sky Scale is back. It's back. And you know what? Collecting the eggs is back. Because you've got to get both collections to optimize your sky scale gameplay. But anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think about this stuff, gamers. And I will see you next time for more news. Come back next week for our weekly Soto update. Wow. Isn't that incredible? You love to see it. <laughs>